That's probably about right. Right there. All right, folks. I'm here on the lower St. Francis. We got word from a buddy of mine that the river was exceptionally low. It's either due to the lack of rain, but I think it's because they've choked off Wapapello slightly. It's really rare for the river to be this low this time of the year. If it is, it's for a very short time. So we went this morning, caught 30 sunfish with worms just in a tiny creek. Got them in the bucket here. We're gonna come down and set four limb lines out down here in the second hole. And we're gonna let them set out all day for big flatheads while we fish with poles out on the sandbar, which is exposed right now, which is usually not till September. So it's, it's very rare the sandbar's even showing. We're gonna throw these limb lines out for, and let them set for about four or five hours. In the meantime, while the limb lines are setting out, we're gonna fish with five poles with 35 pounds, working the big game, two out low roll sinkers, and dead sunfish, live sunfish, night crawlers. Get the other one. Give me this. Give me this. Don't. I think we'll have to take the clips off and we can fix it easier. Go get the other one. I start putting these on. Just wait till this one's done. Now I need these. It won't take long once I get into a pattern routine here. All right, Will's hooked into something here at the rapids. We're lure fishing while we catfish. Oh my God! Yeah! That was a real large mouth too, I think. Man! He's using a tandem rig with three inch grub. My God! I guess the current made it feel a little because he's coming towards you or something. That was a monster for here. That's a big river bass anyway. My God. Maybe he'll bite my, I doubt it. Dang, he torpedoed. Oh my goodness. Got one, yes! Oh yeah, it ain't bad, whatever it is. Yo, man. This crankbait always does it for me here. This same one, it looks like a green crawdad or something. It's a bomber, I think. Oh, ho, ho, it got off. No, no it didn't. It felt like it. Man, I think this is a white bass. It's running. Oh my goodness, he's pulling drag. Oh yeah, I gotta put him on the stringer. Oh yeah, man. I got a dip net too. That ain't bad. He's 15, maybe 14. Heck yeah. All right, folks, we got our first fish already. I haven't even been fishing five minutes in the middle of the day. Keep my stringer over here. 
Wilma! White bass! <laughs> oh, yeah. I need one of them metal stringers, but I lost it. We think a cat carried it off. Because I had it outside on the porch, and it just mysteriously came up missing. So I'm thinking it smelled like fish, and a cat drug it off or something. All right, I caught him on a Bomber Model A, chartreuse and brown with an orange bottom. He's, he's about 14 inches, I'm gonna say. He might go 15, more in the 13, 14 inch range. And I really didn't honestly expect to get it because it's the middle of the day. And I said, what the hell, I'm gonna lure fish for a minute before I start catfishing. Man, they're in my pocket. Oh, okay. That's not a bad white bass. Um, grab my phone too. Or here, can you come here a second? Oh, you need to watch that. Oh, that's a yellow stringer. Oh, we need to put the fish in the bucket before we go home. Oh, you got pliers. Yeah, I'm trying not to have to get the pliers. Oh, you're putting a crankbait on it. Oh, I thought you were switching. Oh my god. It must be the barometer because it's in between moon cycles right now. Yeah, it does. I know I told her that on the way here. And then I noticed the wind when on our way here was coming from the north. I said, uh-oh, we got two things against us. I think I'd do this good this quick. I figured it wouldn't really take off till the evening. Man. Hell yeah. Now, I need me a bass and a flathead to get some variety going. <laughs> I am gonna measure him just for the hell of it. He is 17 inches. My God. I didn't think he was 17. Yeah. That's what I said to her, too. Thought it was 14, maybe 13 or 14. Heck yeah. Yeah. It just don't seem very tall for that size. Uh-uh, no, I want to. I caught like 15 of them out here one day. What the heck? It's like a rare fish, 
Yeah. They only live right in the very swift water below dams in a certain, where, right where the little pocket is. I think that's weird. They're, yeah, I know people that you're lucky to get one a year. Huh. I haven't gotten one at all. I want to get a flyer too. A flyer, there's only, they're only in Mingo. Crappie almost. Yeah. Uh, uh, like six inches, seven. But supposedly in, out of the whole state, they're only in Mingo, Wilhelmina, very few in Duck Creek, and a few in Otter. That's not very many places. There's got to be some in the ditches, though. Into one now. Let's see what he's got. You using a twister tail again? No, oh, he's sassy sad, yeah. He uh, cast it up to the rapids just like I did, and he's got something big here. Oh my goodness, it's that bass. He's about four, four or five pounds. He's hooked in the bass, no? White bass. Man. Sassy sad. Shows them up, folks. Look at that. <laughs> Black and white sassy sad on a quarter ounce jig head. Gets them every time. Man. About like mine. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. He's 16, 17 too. Hang near. Man. Man, I might not end up catfishing at all at this rate. Yeah. What is taking her so long to get her hat? Oh, she didn't want to be in the way, I guess. Dang, man. Real good start. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> About lost him. Man, that's awesome. All right, I caught a spotted bass. Little 10 incher. Calm down. You're getting to go back in. Not keeping you. You're way too little. That could have been one. I don't know, that one I had the first time felt bigger than this. Yeah. And they're really not in that deep of water. There's that buffalo again. His tail just flopped. I'm getting him. Got him! Oh! I snuck up on <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow, that ain't bad, is it? Is this on? Yeah, it's on. All right, folks, I got a long nose gar here, or maybe a spotted. Boy, he's full of energy. <laughs> I was actually trying for a buffalo that was real, right next to him. They were just hanging out right at the rapids, uh, black buffalo. That is a spotted gar. <laughs> wow. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this, it's already on, just like hold it for a minute when you're done. I hate holding gar because they cut the hell out of your hand though. Break my line. Right, folks, I'm going to show the guard for a split 
second, maybe for my shirt. It's something different, I guess. <laughs> and to the variety. Oh, I'm definitely getting the pliers. I know I'm not keeping that thing. <laughs> uh, spotted gar. It wasn't the one I was after, the one about a foot away from him. Oh, well, at least I get him out of the way, he won't bite no more, hopefully. Maybe that's what I had earlier. That's a big dang gar, though. Man. For, yeah, for that kind. With nothing compared to an alligator gar, but... Ah! Boy, he screwed me all up here. Yeah, retie it. Wilma don't even know what I got here. Getting something decent here, folks. I don't know what this is. It's way bigger than that white mess I had earlier, if that's what it is. It could be a buffalo or something. I'm not sure. It's getting tired, though. It could be a white mess. It's bigger than... It's a buffalo in the back on that dorsal fin. It's not even big, it's just because I had him foul hooked. Weird. <laughs> it's only like a pound. He fought like a 10 pounder because I had him in the back. A buffalo. Weird. That's a, definitely a small guy. He fell. I thought that was a four or five pound bass there for a minute. <laughs> I ain't gonna keep him. Too small. I think that's a small mouth or I, I get them mixed up. That's a big mouth because it's got big mouth have the big gill plates that are real hard and smooth like an Asian carp right there. Small mouth won't. Yeah, it's a little big mouth. Or if he's nipped at this, or if it's just blind chance there. He had to at least kind of nipped at it. Or, yeah. Man, that's disappointing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they must just sit there right at the feeding on that plankton. Oh boy, whoa! Now, this ain't a buffalo. Oh, yeah, there we go. What's weird, I keep catching them right where the three foot drops off to the four foot. Is it? There we go, another fifth. Yeah, he's a little smaller, isn't he? He's still 13, he's about 15. Man, Will with the assist. <laughs> he's got he's got two assists today. No, three counting the buffalo. <laughs> we got a third white bass. He's a little smaller. Still decent. We're gonna, I'm gonna keep him too. We got that's three for us. We haven't caught no catfish yet, but at least we got a alternative plan here. We can lure fish while our Catfish poles are setting out at the same time, you know, just 30 or 40 feet from us, so. God. Everything just all happened at once. I had a white bass get all the way to the bank, got off, real big like we had. Then my bullhead pole had a bite. Pretty serious where I had to stop. 
Then my next pole that I buy, so I reeled in a drum this big. Then I reeled in my other pole, it had no worm on it. Then this pole started getting a bite, the sunfish on that one. And then his started screeching, and it was a big gar, I had him on for five seconds, now he's hung up, and I can't break it. Which, which one is, which one is this? Oh yeah, that's a flathead too. That ain't no gar. That is not a gar. It's pulling straight. I'm hung. I feel him. He's still on there. He's hung though. He's on there though. Pretty decent. It's a flathead. Definitely not a gar. And now I'm hung up, but I can still feel him pulling on there. See, he's still pulling. Man. I hope. I'm gonna leave it alone for a minute. And this is one of my poles that's uh, sun fist. So it's a good chance it's a decent fist. So I set the hook really hard, I hooked into it, and about a second later it was hung. I didn't really get the feeling pull much, but I can still feel him pulling right now. Just very light. It's definitely hung, at least the weight is. So I'm sitting here trying to just leave it alone for a second, get some slack in it, and pray he gets it out. I've had that happen before here and got it, but it's seeming pretty hopeless right this second. May have to swim out there and go under. Got it still hung. He's still on there. Man, come on. Or just leave it alone for five minutes. I, I imagine it's at least a four or five pounder. That was the uh, sunfish you gave me. Yeah, it's fairly decent. Three inches. It... Yeah. They're starting to bite. Right when you left, everything happened all at once. I'm telling you, I, I didn't even know what to do at one point. I, it was like, it went in order though. That's what's weird. I started up there and ran down the hole freaking thing. This was the one that bit right before you got here and I set it back down because it quit and then he's been on here the whole time probably. It's definitely a flathead because it's pulling straight down it don't do like a gar. Got it. Oh yeah. Here we go. Flathead, we hope. I don't know for sure. It, it, Gar would have came to the top already. All right, folks, I got my first catfish. They just now started picking up. I've had this pole in the water for two hours. At least two hours. It's spinning channel cat. That's nice, though. Oh yeah. Three pounder. Yeah. Wow, the weight makes them feel a lot bigger than what they are. That's decent. I got the drag all the way tight with this. He must have went in a log or something. Wilma! Wilma! Ooh. <laughs> hey, it's a start. Uh, now I'm hoping that bullhead picks back up. <laughs> Whatever was on that bullhead earlier, it was pretty serious. It definitely wasn't the bullhead. I don't even see the sunfish. Yeah. Now I'm gonna pull them all in, rebait them, and recast them all.
Hey, I'm happy with that. All right, folks, I got my first catfish. It's not a flathead, which I'm after, but he's a decent channel cat. He's probably three, three, three and a half pounds. Normal will be happy. Channel, yeah. Caught him on a dead, oh no, a live sunfish. That one. He must have flung it though, because it was no longer on there or in his mouth. But uh, hey, it's a catfish anyway. Now what I'm gonna do is re-throw all these back out. This one has a bullhead, the two in the middle had worms, and then the one closest to him down there had a sunfish on it. So I'm doing a wide variety and then I caught all the white bass on them. Lures up here. I don't even know what to do here. It's twisted like 20 times. I'm almost gonna have to cut it. Oh, my camera on? Yes, it is. All right, Wilma's got something nice here. On a lure? Be patient. You probably got a big white bass or a buffalo. What are you using, a twister tail? Huh? All right, she's got a big fish here on a twister tail. Just be patient. Don't let slack in your line again. Keep tension on that rod. Keep it bent. Keep it low. Go a little lower down and back like this. There you go. Keep it tense all the whole time. Do not let slack in that line. I think she's got a buffalo. Come on, you've missed the last two. You gotta get this one, Wilma. You got it. She's had bad, she lost two big ones last week. We had mysteries. We never even got to see them. Oh, man. Bro. Oh, man. Bro. Folks, this is our cats for today. One channel cat and three fairly decent white bats. One seventeen and two fifteen. They bit better at two to three in the afternoon than they did the whole rest of the day. They just died. It's a poor day according to the almanac. But it, what makes no sense is they bit during the heat of the day, right in the middle of the day. To put up, and we, we thought we'd see. have a really good evening, and uh, we never did have a good evening. Never did okay. get a flathead, which is what I was after. But I'm about to go check my limb lines, but really didn't have much on. I'm just two or three hooks on each one, so hey. odds are they up. probably got bit by a gar or a turtle. There we go. All right. <gasps> Put the